Alaikum and welcome to Titli's Busy Kitchen with me, Titli Nihan. Do your sponge cakes always go... <laughs> Don't worry, you're not a baking bozo, you just haven't used the right recipe. For my Victoria sponge mix I've got 250 grams of self-raising flour, 250 grams of soft margarine or butter, I'm using margarine, 250 grams of caster sugar or superfine sugar, five eggs, and to help it be light and fluffy, I've got two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And for the filling, I've got some strawberry jam. You could use raspberry jam, that's traditional too. And 284 mils of whipping cream. Begin by creaming together the butter or margarine and the sugar. Loving that creamy goodness. Now blending the eggs one at a time. Now when your eggs are all beaten into the mixture, sift in the flour and the baking powder. Then beat in. you should end up with this deliciously smooth creamy mixture. Now I've got two 8 inch sandwich tins which I've lightly greased and I've lined the bottom with baking paper and I'm going to split this mixture between the two tins. Spread the mixture around in each of the tins. Now bake at 170 degrees C for 30 to 40 minutes until they're risen and cooked. Once the cakes are cooked leave them to cool for five minutes. Then transfer the cakes to a wire rack to cool completely. When the cake has cooled, spread one half with jam. Then whisk the cream. Until it's all nice and stiff. Then spread the cream onto the cake. Now you can use buttercream if you prefer, but for me it's a bit sweet, so I much prefer using real cream. Finally pop on the lid, just give it a little jiggle to make it seated, then finish off by dusting lightly with icing sugar. Now that's what I call a light sponge cake, perfect with a cup of tea. So now you know how to banish those baking bozo blues, which is also a great title for a song. Morning, feeling like a baking bozo. Mm -hmm.